My research on higher education and its financial returns has been kind of ongoing for at least a decade. Uh, so I'm in the business of you know, teaching students and I'm kind of interested uh, in how those students do. Uh, in particular, how they do in the labour market. Uh, so my research is really about the financial returns to uh, engaging in higher education, to take in the good, a degree. My work has really been influential in helping government policy to think through how many students should there be, what kind of subjects that should do, and how those students should be financed. Students get paid according to their productivity. We all of us do. We get paid not for what we know, we get paid for what we can do. Graduates can do more than non-graduates uh, on average, but some graduates can do particularly uh, well. If you're studying a curriculum which increases your productivity most, then you will earn more money uh, because of the things that you can then do. So my research uh, has revealed uh, you know, big differentials uh, across uh, degree subjects and across institutions. Different courses offer quite different financial returns to students. I think the, in a nutshell, you know, what our research shows is that higher education matters. It matters more if you study a curriculum that contributes to your productivity. It matters more, in particular, if you contribute your own effort to mastering what that curriculum says. Because it's that that allows you to do more. And what you get paid in the labour market is proportional to what you can do.